Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I have a follow-up to the bottle cutting video. The original video was right here. It shows you how to cut a perfect top like this, or very close to perfect, that only takes uh, maybe a minute or two to sand down. It also saves the top part. Now, in that video I mentioned that these are resealable and that they'll actually hold water by just popping this back on by putting some pressure on it. A few people noted that I had my hand on top on top of the bottle like this when I pushed it down that creates a vacuum. They're right about that. What they're not right about is that even without that this will hold water. I'm going to show you these bottles. Once you cut them, they never make a truly perfect cut so it makes like a puzzle. Now if you're making a glass you want to you're going to sand that away. But if you're using it for this, those little inconsistencies actually act as a lock. You're going to notice that when I turn this, it doesn't, the bottom doesn't turn, but now you're going to see when I line the seam up, it, it locks in. Now the bottom turns. They lock together. So if I push down, I'm going to move this close. It'll get blurry, but just listen. And what happens is, that pretty much seals it. Now, by putting your hand on it, this would hold water forever. It never would leak. If you put a weight around this and kept the top open, everybody who, or a lot of people who commented said, well, the water's just going to leak out of there. This was done last night. And what I did, you can see that the top is completely opened. There's nothing in there. There is a weight holding it down and this is where the cut line is and it initially it lost a little bit of water but um, it's probably losing about a drop every 15 minutes so it's held that overnight so what I'm gonna do is pull the weight off hopefully Alright, so now what I'm going to do is take this bottle out, and you can see that this is just regular water, so it's not like anything thick or anything like that. I'm going to line these up and push them together. I'm going to dry this off. Now you have to have pressure. This isn't just going to hold water without some pressure, but the point is to show that this does lock together. So you can see that that's just water in there. Now I'm going to squeeze it like this turn the bottle and nothing drips out nothing at all comes out of there there's no drop forming on the base so this does hold water and the top is open there's nothing in there to plug it up so it's not a vacuum and that is holding the water now I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna release the pressure Put the pressure back on, release the pressure. I don't want to chip this, so pressure back on, and you can see that no water leaks out of there. And if you actually take a, I've got a, I'm gonna do a video where I take a top. If you create a vacuum with this, the vacuum alone will hold this bottle together, and if you put a strong enough vacuum, these are virtually, well, they're not impossible, but you need a ton of force to pull them apart. So there's no vacuum and there's no glue. So I hope this uh, cleared some stuff up about this. These do reseal. Now I'm looking into, I have some glass glues that actually are supposed to hold permanently. So if you put, they have a very, very thin viscosity, so they should fit in there perfectly. And once you put this back like that, you'll still see the line there, but Evidently, it's supposed to be strong. The bond's supposed to be stronger than the glass itself. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. When I line this seam up, you're going to notice, you're going to hear it lock in. Some. <laughs> oh, I got it backwards. Okay. There's two seams in the bottle. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna see it lock in. Mm. All right, this is stupid.
There we go. So let me, okay, you're going to hear it lock in. You're going to see me throw this bottle out the... They'll stay together until you actually release the vacuum. So, if I turn this 